London is the capital of England, and Great Britain, and the United Kingdom. But what exactly is the difference? Let's have a look at how these historical entities formed, and how Britain's borders grew to encompass an empire across the world. The term Britain derives from the Iron Age, where the Celtic Britons had inhabited the region for many hundreds of years. By the time the Roman Empire had expanded to the area during the first century CE, the region would be known by the Latin term Britannia, later refining this to denote the land south of Hadrian's Wall. With the term Britain we use today influenced by Old French and Old English from an original common Britonic name for the island. The etymology of England traces from the Angle people, a Germanic tribe who had originated from the Anglia Peninsula, migrating to the area in the early Middle Ages over the 5th and 6th centuries, and after Roman settlement had come and gone. The Angles were joined by others from the region, including notably by the Saxons, and a predominant Anglo-Saxon settlement was formed across the eastern part of the island. When the region was to be unified in the 10th century, whilst the king was in fact a Saxon from the Kingdom of Wessex, the population was dominated by the Angle peoples, and the Old English name Englerland was used to denote this, translating as the land of the Angles, and the term eventually becoming the England that we know today. By the times of Middle English and following Anglo-Saxon settlement in the area, the term Britain had fallen out of favour and was utilised instead to reference the inhabitants of the Brittany region of France, where many Celtic Britons had since migrated. And it was not until the 15th century that the term would be used officially to denote the area once more, delineating the island as Great Britain, a term we maintain to this day, with the existing Brittany region then known as Lesser or Little Britain. This averse term of Little Britain has been used historically to designate not only Brittany, but had been earlier utilised to denote also the neighbouring regions of Ireland and also Wales, all areas of Celtic influence during the Middle Ages. The term Great Britain forms not only the geographical entity of the island. Following the 1707 Acts of Union between the Kingdom of England, which by now included the annexed region of Wales, with the Kingdom of Scotland to its north, the new union would be termed the Kingdom of Great Britain, and which now also included some of the smaller outlying islands from each territory. The island of Great Britain is the largest in Europe, and the ninth largest in the world. But how does the United Kingdom factor into all of this? Nearly a century after the Union of Great Britain, the Kingdom would expand in 1801 to incorporate the neighbouring Kingdom of Ireland, with the new entity termed the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, and following much of its later secession in 1922, would be renamed as the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, reflecting the territory that had remained. The United Kingdom, or UK for short, would form a multi-part sovereign nation, or a country of countries. The arrangement today is somewhat unique, and provides opportunity for conflation of the terms of the region, at times interchangeably labelled United Kingdom, Great Britain, Britain and England. It is important to understand that these terms today have developed to refer to independent geographical and political entities. England is a country, the largest and most populous of the United Kingdom. Great Britain is an island and used to denote the informal union of England, Wales and Scotland, including numerous outlying islands. And finally, the United Kingdom is the political union of the nations of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. However, the United Kingdom forms only a portion of the larger British Isles. This includes the United Kingdom, but also the entirety of the island of Ireland, the Inner and Outer Hebrides, the Northern Isles, and more than 6,000 additional smaller islands. The region is also home to the Crown Dependencies that comprise the Isle of Man, along with the Channel Islands of Guernsey and Jersey, all of which are self-governing entities not part of the UK but instead possessions of the British Crown. These three Crown Dependencies, when combined with the United Kingdom, form also the British Islands, of which excludes the sovereign state of Ireland. The influence of Britain is not limited to the British Isles, with the nation pioneering an age of exploration from the 16th century that eventuated in it becoming the largest empire in history. At the height of its reach, the British Empire would occupy 35.5 million square kilometres, constituting a quarter of the Earth's total land area, or more than double the size of current-day Russia. With land held across every continent, 
the British Empire would be described as one on which the sun would never set. And whilst its reach has reduced somewhat today, the legacy of the British Empire remains across numerous international locations. The British Overseas Territories, sometimes termed United Kingdom Overseas Territories, are the last of those within the Empire not directly forming part of the United Kingdom. Formerly known as British Crown Colonies, these 14 sites retain the British monarch as head of state and rely on the UK for its defence, but are otherwise self-governing bodies. The British Overseas Territories are not classified as sovereign states, but there are numerous former colonies of the British Empire that are both sovereign and retain ties to the Crown. Fifteen countries today, including the United Kingdom, are classified as Commonwealth realms. Countries including Australia and Canada maintain a level of sovereignty, however each retain the British monarch as head of state. And the nations of Australia, New Zealand and Tuvalu all retain the British Union Jack as a canton on their respective national flags. These realms form part of the larger Commonwealth of Nations, originally created in 1926 as a voluntary association comprised primarily of current and former entities of the British Empire, with members generally sharing the English language and shared historical ties. Many of these member states were former realms that have since gained independence as a republic. Interestingly, the island member nation of Fiji, although forming a republic in 1987, and removing any constitutional ties to the British Empire, to date retains the Union Jack on its flag. And there are numerous members who have voluntarily joined the Union without historical ties altogether. This includes Mozambique in 1995, a former Portuguese colony, Rwanda in 2009 that was once a Belgian trust territory, and most recently the 2022 editions of Togo and Gabon. Through its rich history of exploration and acquisition, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, its Greater British Isles, and its territories and associated realm form one of the most complex international unions in the world.